The shift from a gold standard to a fiat currency began to starve America's finan financial preeminence. You cannot inflate gold, but you can print money out of thin air. When a currency is built on nothing but paper, it literally grows on trees. With this dramatic shift, America's leverage on the world stage begun to, began to slip away. There can be no globalism when America refuses to relinquish its position as the preeminent currency. Countries also think twice before incurring the wrath of the United States when their own financial stability is tied to the endurance of our monetary system. But instead, our inflated, hollow monetary systems have given way to fa fantastical foreign policy. We have surrendered our financial security as the superpowers of the world wait eagerly in the wings. Our collapse signals their emergence. Saudi Arabia, which has exclusively sold its oil using U.S. dollars, is now considering selling oil for the Chinese yuan. The Chinese Communist Party has been posturing for years to topple the dollar with their tender. When the U.S. dollar falls, America will no longer remain the do dominant on the world stage. When America projects weakness on the international stage, everyday Americans suffer. We know this. We're told this daily. But many everyday Americans feel that geopolitics is far removed from their lives. So let's answer the question, what does it cost for America to be weak on the world stage? This cost is manifest at the pumps every day with 42% higher prices. It's shown as food prices soar. Meat, poultry, and eggs are all up over 10%. Our weakness abroad produces hardships at home. If we lose our, world, our role as the world reserve currency, your buying power, your savings, and your property value could all sink to historic lows. The preeminence, the preeminence of American currency has dominated the global landscape for decades, providing stability as the international bedrock of financial transactions and arrangements. We are the world's reserve currency. We are the standard. But that great financial heritage is slipping away. Our children may soon call the world reserve currency by another name. Perhaps they will know it as the yuan. The geopolitical ramifications of devalued and discarded American currency would not only signal a shift in financial confidence in the United States, it would dissolve our standing among global superpowers. We are witnessing the death rattle of Pax Americana, meaning the era of American peace we've enjoyed in the world for decades. America could lose a war with China, without a single shot ever being fired, if our dollar continues to be perpetually devalued. Permanent Washington's decision makers, most of whom are over 30 to 50 years my senior, have clearly either not taken the time to sit and consider the cost of, or worse, simply ignored how hyperinflation is rotting the superiority of our nation's currency and dragging with it young families, blue-collar workers, and the great American middle class.